Hi, welcome to this new demo where I will show you how broadcast join works if we join one batch dataset with one streaming dataset. So in this test, I will use a one shuffle partition just to have less clicks to do because I added some breakpoints. And I will also use a timestamp dataset, which is the batch one that I will join later to the Kafka source by value key and number number which is one of the properties of this timestamps data set that i will generate here so in the demo as you can see now here i will first write the version one where as you can see we have different current timestamp and later i will read read this this prop uh, this data set and join it with the kafka's one so let me start the demo by generating the input data first. So as you can see, it worked. I will maybe just check the generated file. As you can see, we have our values. So now I will start the, the Docker image for, for the broker. I will connect to to this image and I will create the topic. And just after that I will start the console producer. And now I will start this code in debug debug mode. So as I said, I added some breakpoints and I will try to comment and explain why I added this breakpoint and why it shows that the dataset is broadcasted. And by broadcasting, I mean that the broadcasting doesn't keep this dataset in memory and instead it will reload the data. So in my case, if I'm reading a JSON file, it means that if we broadcast, we do broadcast join with it, the file will be read at every micro batch. So let's uh, start that. So yes, we have the first micro batch, which is executing and it will be empty, of course, because I didn't put any data yet. Okay, and let's see the console, it showed something. So for now we are trying to broadcast. The relationship, as you can see, we have three fields on this and four rows, which as we will see here corresponds to the four rows we are generating. So here we put it into the broadcast cache. And it's empty. Okay, so let's first check how this broadca broadcast join happens. I will put a key which is in my generated file. So we execute the micro batch. So there is still the micro batch execution. And now you can see that we are starting to broadcast the data set. And here we correctly broadcasted the data set, which has, as I said, four row for rows and three columns and as you can see we put it into the broadcast cache with the id equal to eight and as you can uh, now we are removing some broadcast files from the past and remember that the id of the broadcast join is eight and uh, that's we correctly joined the dataset. 
But you will see now that if I try to add another value and I will execute another join, the new micro batch will execute and I will broadcast once again this long hashed relation which represents the data set I want to I want to to join with the streaming one. And as you can see it's here and the broadcast uh, happens once again. You can see that yes, that I'm broadcasting this value once again, and that this broadcasted value has a different ID, which means that it's completely different broadcast. And yes, I'm putting it in the memory cache. And you will also see later that I will remove, so not me, but Apache Spark will remove the old cached broadcast with the ID. 8 as you can see here we are removing it from from the broadcast from the block manager so we will not store any more these these files on 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 the blocks on the file system and that's and also the single fact of using different ids shows that we are not considering this broadcast broadcasted data set as an immutable broadcasted data set so it will change at every my it may change at every micro batch execution and of course since it may change we will of course every time load a new version from the file system and to show you that i will now change the writer and i will uh, write first a new field you will see that this aspect doesn't change so the which means that the analyzed plan remains the same and after that i will of course overwrite the new the timestamp value with the current time so i don't want to reload these classes and now i will show you i will just uh, put once again let's say four so we are executing the micro batch we are fetching now we are broadcasting the value and here we can see that in the relation we have still four uh, three fields sorry so three columns and now you will see that the timestamp for the batch three will be different which means that we physically read again this batch and this broadcasted data set. And if you want to discover more technical details about this static data set broadcast join with a streaming data source data set, I invite you to the article which is linked in the description of this video. It was Bartosz Konieczny from waitingforcode.com. Thanks for watching.